Welcome to Spidell's California Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane. This week, we're covering some enhancements to the MyFTB account system that have improved and streamlined the user experience. There are just a few in-person seminar and live webinar sessions left for the 2023-2024 federal and California tax update. Spidel offers everything you need to know to be ready for filing season, and you can get registered at caltax.com. The FTB has made several changes to its MyFTB account program, which currently has over 55,000 tax professionals registered to use it. The changes improve and streamline the user experience and make it much easier to get clients added to the system. This will save practitioners time, for example, when they're doing things like verifying estimated tax payments, available credit carryovers, and non-wage withholding credits. MyFTB includes credits that have carried over from prior years that can be claimed on a tax return. For individual clients only, this page also includes non-wage withholding credits. Payments will appear on a taxpayer's payment history page as soon as the FTB has associated the payment to the account. This lets the tax professional know that the payment was received and is tied to the client, regardless of how the payment was made. It's important to note that even though the payment is viewable, the processing may not be complete and the payment status could change. For example, it could be dishonored. But this feature provides the tax professional assurance that the payment was received. In 2022, the FTB tightened their rules as to who can obtain taxpayer information from the tax practitioner hotline. We heard numerous complaints from tax professionals who were unable to obtain estimated tax payment verifications from the hotline. One way around this issue is for the tax professional to obtain a power of attorney or tax information authorization with full online access so that they can view their client's payment history online on their MyFTB account. Full online access is only available once the taxpayer completes the authorization process with the tax professional, so secure these authorizations now to have access to your client's tax information during filing season. Remember that the authorization only belongs to an individual tax professional, not the firm they work for. One reason many practitioners were reluctant to sign up for MyFTB is because of the lengthy verification process. Beginning this past October, the period of time a taxpayer has to respond to a relationship verification letter was shortened from 45 days to 20 days. Taxpayers have to verify power of attorney or tax information authorization requests to allow a tax professional to add the taxpayer to their MyFTB client account. If a taxpayer does not contact the FTB within 20 days, the FTB will reject the relationship request. To expedite processing, the taxpayer can also call the FTB to approve the power of attorney or tax information authorization relationship, or they can authorize the online access account on the FTB's website. Individual taxpayers and tax professionals with a MyFTB account, an active POA relationship, and full online account access can now view scheduled protest hearing information, like tax year, date, time, and status, and upload documents in advance of the protest hearing. Taxpayers and tax professionals can also view and protest a notice of proposed adjusted carryover amount. This information is not yet available for business taxpayers. A new feature added at the end of 2023 is the ability to connect a MyFTB message with a prior communication. If the message is regarding a bill or other item, the tax professional can select that item from a list of recent communication items so the FTB can keep all the notices and messages together. With future MyFTB enhancements, messages will automatically be routed if the case is moved to audit or collections. This should help expedite processing since the message will be in context of the taxpayer's case. Stay up to date on all California tax law changes with a subscription to Spidel's California Tax Letter. You can see subscription details and download a sample issue at caltax.com under publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another installment of Spidel's California Minute.